when the police say, I'm sorry, but you're not authorized to go into this part of Ottawa, what do I say to them? You say to them, you're violating my charter rights of freedom of assembly and freedom of association, and you haven't proven to me that it's necessary to stop me from going in here. You have no right to violate my rights. You have to prove that to me in a court of law. Yeah, so, so what I want to make a point of is something along the lines of what just Ed just said, and um, that is Ottawa police said they have set up 100 different checkpoints now going into Ottawa, and you have to prove that you have a lawful reason to be there, and I say your lawful reason is section six of you the don't have a lot you have a lawful reason to be there because you're a citizen of canada that's right and they're that's violating that's your mobility rights right right uh, and the onus you're is on them because they are breaking the charter we're not breaking the charter the onus is on them to prove to us that you can demonstrably justify that this is necessary which they cannot do right and the other thing is they're doing their old double speak when you see him talking there because they're saying they're protecting everyone's charter rights meanwhile they're violating every single charter right that we it's have it's not their there's not their right there's not their power to protect anybody's charter rights people protect their own charter rights you get out of the way and let my charter rights be expressed by me moving anywhere in the country including ottawa yeah, and that that the charter doesn't apply private person to private person. It applies to government solely in their agencies because that is the checks and balances that keep a government from becoming tyrannical. So that's exactly, exactly, exactly. So you you know our rights are being violated right now, and the government and its agents, police and everybody else, the onus is on them to prove that they can override your rights. They have not done that because you know what they need. They need a cost-benefit analysis to show that the benefits outweigh the costs, and they can't do that. And they haven't produced that one study to show that. The long and short of it is where we got to concentrate it is he's breaking the law as we know it, the Charter Rights and Freedoms. That we know. That we know. He's, okay, he's, so he's, he's stymied my right of movement. He's stymied my right of association. He's stymied my right, right, the security of the person. He's secured, right? He's, he's stymied my right of equality before the law. He's, he's broken all of those of my individual rights that I have under the Constitution. His government has. His, him as leader has. Charter of Rights and Freedoms.